Let's take the case of Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy played baseball all afternoon, and he didn't feel like walking home, so he decided to thumb a ride. He'd done it a hundred times before, and he didn't think anything was unusual when the driver struck up a friendly conversation. In fact, he seemed like a real nice guy. He asked Jimmy if he played baseball in the park often. Jimmy told him they practiced three times a week and played a rival group on Friday afternoon. The stranger was a good listener, too, and it only seemed minutes before they pulled up in front of Jimmy's house. When Jimmy got out, the stranger gave him a friendly pat. Then he told him he'd see him again, as he always drove by the park on his way home. Sure enough, the following day, when Jimmy finished playing ball, well, the man was there waiting. stopped at a drive-in, and the stranger treated him to a Coke. During their conversation, he told several off-color jokes. But Jimmy had heard others before, and, well, it made him feel big to so easily win the confidence of an older person. The following Saturday, they went fishing together. By now, they were using first names. Ralph said it was more friendly. Jimmy hadn't enjoyed himself so much in a long time. Then during lunch, Ralph showed him some pornographic pictures. Jimmy knew he shouldn't be interested, but well, he was curious. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick, a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual, 